So for TV, one of my favorite things about the medium was that it was so broad, right? It was like casting a net and reaching America, right? You, when you're on a TV show, you're like, thank you, America, you know? Uh, or when they're voting on, you know, a television show, they're talking to the, the public, you know? Digital media, you, you don't really do that, you know? With online video, you don't necessarily talk to the public, you're talking to your audience. Um, so one of the things that I feel is kind of pushing TV away from what I really love is too much data. Because if print had a, a lot of data behind it, it wouldn't be print, you know? It, it wouldn't be that medium that you could smell. Once TV has way too much targetability behind it, the people won't have commonalities to talk about. Um, because it was that medium that people gathered around together, right? Like, families watched it at one time, where your phone is yours. Your laptop, you're watching it alone, or maybe someone's peeking over your shoulder. So that aspect of TV, I feel like it's kind of in trouble with the more data we add to it, um, because people won't relate together. They won't relate together. They'll get their customized experience, which is great, it's efficient, but it's not TV. One of the things we're doing for our clients to maintain their footprint in the industry is really just helping them stay ahead of the curve by, you know, going to things like this, like Videonomics, to learn, you know, how other agencies are applying strategies to overcome the same obstacles that all brands face. Um, one of the things we really like to do is not only just take the direction, but take it and then kind of flip it, right? So. Um, in terms of data, where normally we receive a target or we have a data set that is our audience, um, one of the things we started looking at was the anti-target um, and developing an anti-target for them versus suppression list. Instead of secluding people or uh, consumers because they don't fit our mold, we're actually modeling out um, this persona that is like the inverse of the people that we actually want to go to. So we're learning about them at the same time, as much as we're learning about our consumer, and in this way we're actually minimizing waste. For a lot of our clients, um, they're just now diving into OTT um, because, you know, the efficiencies that you can get in digital don't always translate over to larger screens, and the targetability has always been in question. So one of the things that we're doing to make sure that you know clients are comfortable and that they're getting their money's worth um, and begin to trust the medium is we're including studies, you know, maximizing the research for sure. Because for them it helps to prove it to internally that it's working and that they're investing wisely. And then on our end, it helps us to look really good to show like we're bringing you something innovative. Though you had hesitations, here's this whole batch of research that shows that it's working. So for the hospitality um, vertical, one of the things that's been changing the game for them that I've seen um, is really a restructure of how they serve the consumer. Where before it was more about come stay with us overnight or for an extended period of time, these are our amenities, um, and then you're going to go do something in the city that you're visiting. Where one of my clients has like totally revamped the music festival format, and so now they're accommodating people to stay at their hotels, hosting the music festival at the hotel on location. And so instead of booking a hotel, buying a ticket, going, coming back, when you're tired, you just go up to your room, take a nap, wash up, change clothes, go back down to the festival and you're right there. Like, I never would have imagined like a music festival at or inside of a hotel. So internally, we've got um, lots of initiatives. Um, we make sure that people are able to really study something that they're interested in um, beyond their work, um, whether it be content or whether it be digital innovation or emerging media, and then sharing that to make sure that even if you aren't looking for this type of content yourself, you're still able to keep a pulse and also um, see what your teammates are interested in and hear it from them, you know? Because they'll, they'll say it much more exciting than you'll ever hear in a trade they're passionate about. It.